Hi guys, this is Peluche's tank again. This is my new tank that I just set up like three months ago. I didn't make a video right away because I wanted to show you when the tank it was kind kind of looking better. And like you see, everything is going perfectly fine. Look at those anemones, man. Clownfish loving them. Okay, I was making this video just to show you this tank. And um, I wanted to show you my new algae scrover, you can say. That I just make by a by a reactor, no reactor that I bought. You see it there. So I was just making uh, this video to show you not how to do it, just showing you the reactor, how I did it, how it's connected to the LED strips. I just use a O reactor bought from Amazon. These LEDs, strips, and I wrap them around and put some Cheeto in there. Nice. And, and I'm gonna do another video like in a month to see. So to show you guys how how uh, it's been, if it's gonna do good or not. Uh, I've been watching a lot of videos, and uh, they look like there are pretty good scrubbers so hopefully mine do well and um another thing i was watching videos because i didn't know how much light uh should i put uh should i try uh, put on um, on the scrubber like how for how long leave it there and i'm just gonna run it 24 hours 24 7 you could say and uh and then if it's not working 20, 24 seven, and if it's too much, if, if I might burn the Cheeto, I'm just gonna go eight hours every day. I'm gonna check the Cheeto in one week and, and I make another video and tell you if 24 hours light, it's good or not. So I'm experimenting for you guys. And this is my, my tank, like you know my tank already. Okay, I'm gonna show you some frags that I just make and I'm gonna explain to you why that I did that. Okay, these rasters right here, they look all messed up right now because I just frag them. Because this guy right here, he was already messing with them. And uh, so I had to move her lower. And that guy right here that looks all broken it's this guy right here this guy right here so I had him move him because again my first funnel was just killing him so I had to put him in another place and you see those these 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 two frags right here those are rasters too that I just cut him those rasters they were actually encrusting on my on my Aikens right there, so I just scrape him out of the frag and I place him in the in new frag plugs. Hopefully they do good. Oh my goodness, my my leg just changed again. Just like my in, just like in the other video I was making, it looked like I do it on purpose, huh? No, just you guys, I'm only not lucky enough. Or lucky to show you white and blue. Look, it's looking nice. So, yeah, like I said, if uh, this this video was just to show you my scrover, my new scrover that I made. And uh, if you have any questions, how do I did this? Just comment, and I let you know how I did it. It's pretty basic. And uh, yeah, oh, and I make these too. 
those in containers. Got those on the 99 cent store. Just make a drill a hole there. And with some hard piping there. And they're work they are working they're working actually really nice. And the way I decide to do that is because, like you see, I have a lot of wires, a whole bunch of wires. So, one of these hoses, the calcium hose, it was in the floor. So you see, all that is calcium there. I think that's what that is. So that's why I had to buy the containers and buy the little hoses holder. We're not spending a little bit of money on those holders. That's what happens. I end up with a hose in the floor and I didn't even notice for a month or two months. So that's that's why you I rather spend a little bit more money now and not having those issues because my costume went down. So don't 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 get cheap and buy the equipment you need. So there's my tank and my new tank. What I did with this tank it doesn't have a sump. Like you see here it doesn't have a sump. Just the outer top off skimmer in the back gags all light and a light that came with the tank when I bought the used tank it's doing pretty good well guys I hope you like my videos and my tanks if you have any question please comment and I try to have an answer for you. And uh, I just got a comment from a friend telling me that I need a bigger tank. I actually think I do need a bigger tank. But the thing is that I live in the second floor. And there will be too much weight for this little apartment if I get a bigger tank. This is already a 75-gallon a tank, so... I know these fishes deserve something bigger, but that's that's pretty much what the biggest I can get away with. So, thanks you guys for watching, and see you guys soon.